The Titanic has just hit an iceberg, and it's up to you to save as many passengers as possible. Just like the movie, this two to five player game is packed with heroic action, quick thinking, and even chances to act out your favorite scenes. Draw me like one of your French girls, Jack. Play as Jack, Rose, or your other favorite characters and race through the staterooms, storage rooms, and of course, the grand staircase in a mad dash to the final lifeboat. It may have taken 26 months to build the real Titanic, but it only takes a few minutes to set up the game. Let's get started. Each player gets a player mat, a character card, and some action cubes based on the number of players. There are no dice in this game, so these cubes allow players to move from room to room and save passengers each turn. Slide them back to unused after every turn. Players also get a secret private objective card worth extra points. Have a look and leave it here until the end. Now let's set up the board. Add the four top decks and all the numbered room tiles. There are two rooms per tile. Add the lifeboats to the board. Pile the lifesavers, extra action cubes, and star tokens at the side. Next, place the meeples on the spot where indicated. Meeples represent passengers needing rescue. It's more heroic to rescue second and third class passengers, the gray and red meeples, so they're worth more points than the green passengers living large in first class. Next, stack the star cards. There are four types with different benefits, like helpful access to chop through walls, or extra points for belting out our favorite song from the soundtrack. <coughs> Next, stack the flood cards. Players must flip them after every single turn to keep the game moving by flooding the ship. When a room tile gets flooded, it gets removed from the board. Finish up by putting everyone's character movers in any bottom room and place their character score tokens here. Time to have some fun, or as much fun as you can have on a ship that's rapidly sinking through the frigid North Atlantic. To get to safety, you must move through rooms. One action cube equals one move. You can move up and down, side to side, or across tiles. The only exception are these steel girders, which you have to move around. Every time you enter a room, you can pick up something next to you for free like this action cube for an extra move, star token to trade in for a star card, or this passenger before he meets his watery fate. To save a passenger, put them in one of the two lifesaver places on your map. When you're next to a lifeboat, and only then, you can place all passengers on your mat onto the lifeboat using one action cube. Star cards can be played anytime on your turn and help you earn points, move around, and possibly embarrass yourself in front of your friends. Ah! To expand your capacity for saving passengers, pick up lifesaver tokens or additional action cubes. Spoiler alert, things don't go well for the Titanic. So let's skip ahead and go over flooding. Once a row is underwater, the water line moves up. Any components beneath it are no longer available. Adjacent lifeboats immediately launch. Any characters float to the room above for a three-point penalty. Players must now make it onto the collapsible lifeboat to escape. If anyone doesn't, all their points forfeit and they lose. Once the waterline reaches the top, the game ends. The player with the most points, including their private objective, wins. Titanic is a great game, packed with strategy, excitement, and fun. It's a... Wait, I'm over here, Jack!